think this is probably getting pretty close to getting about as raw as it goes on the streets of Hoi An. What's up guys and welcome to Hoi An, Vietnam. It's a bit later than normal for our start. I've left Stace in a coffee shop while I venture out. I'm going to go and check out the central market and try and get a local feed. See what the whole buzz is all about. Uh, see what's for sale there. I think it's quite local. Um, I'm absolutely starving right now. And then tonight we're going to go to a lantern festival. I can't even put into words how hot it is right now because the sun's directly above the street. It's impossible to find shade as well, which is why I was walking through the little alleyways. It's about the best way that you can get shade. But they're brief, they're short. And at least there's some cold air flowing through them. I think I'm almost there anyway. Looks like the central market is actually two big buildings. But one here and one down there. There's stalls lying on the outsides and I think it's a case of just you gotta walk in through one of them. It's pretty crammed in here as you'd expect. It looks like it's actually very local. I thought it was gonna be quite a sort of western setup, but it's not exactly tailored for tourists. It looks like it's selling a lot of the goods that you might want if you're living here, which might be helpful for us. Oh, don't wanna wake this lady up. Typical touristy stuff. <clears throat> it was all very nice. Uh, tiger bomb. Tiger bomb. Yeah. No, no injuries. This is more the area I was looking for though. Tons and tons of food stalls. I have no idea what I'm going to eat here. So many options. selling the exact same thing. Within minutes of walking inside the food area, I've had about four menus put in my face. I was told that I should buy something. And it was like walking a bit of a gauntlet. I don't like to be negative, but the food for the price that you pay compared to what you can get for a 20,000 baht, I mean, sorry, 20,000 dong banh mi from banh mi Huang. Value-wise, it's just, it's just not there. The place that I picked was because the lady was right there, it seemed really nice. The food that I was sitting in front of was like really well lit and she seemed to stand there with a fan and fan me while I was standing and I was hot by that point. So it just seemed to be the best option that I had at the time. That was 45,000 and I think like I said, you could get two banh mi fongs for that that are like fresh, flavoursome, haven't been sitting out for a long time. My take on the central market is worth coming for a look, but you probably won't be much time. She's right here. This appears to be the third area of the market, which is more like local fish brought in, local vegetable, uh, loads of fruit and stuff, which is definitely more of a calm place. Buying things in bulk, people seem a bit friendlier, and probably fresher produce that you actually might want to eat. The good news is, if the markets don't float your boat, there are about a thousand other stores selling all sorts of stuff, all your typical knockoffs. T-shirts, bags, sleeping bags, chopsticks, bowls, paintings, art, piles of dirt, lanterns. For us, not really our vibe. We might go in there and get some fresh fruit, some fresh vegetables. Beyond that, I don't think the food's really worth going in for. It is a really nice place. It's an experience that you get in any market though. They're always the same. Well, some of the elements are always the same. So it was really cool to see it. But I feel like for us, that's a tick. And we probably don't really have much of a need to see any more of it. Thanks for the singing, Stace. So we're on to try our next local suggestion. This is called uh, Khao Lao, which is pork with noodles yep. and greens 
pork noodles and greens and we've got a recommendation we're gonna go and hope that this one is open it's always cool to properly experience food and the culture the way that they do and I think this is probably getting pretty close to getting about as raw as it goes on the streets of Hoi An. So we're sitting here. Yeah I don't I don't really fit on this thing very well. It's in an alleyway. It's just a little bit busy, but we're trying Khao Lao. Happy. Happy. This is the sort of thing that we like doing, just getting off that beaten path just a little bit, somewhere where no one speaks English and you get to properly experience it. So I'm pleased. Stace the research. Why not? Tonight is the festival of the lanterns, which I think is it once every month. It's just the lantern festival. It's the lantern festival, <laughs> where the locals uh, pay their respects to their ancestors. There's an electricity ban throughout the city, I think. Uh, my camera is doing a great job of making it seem like it's really well lit right now, but it's actually not. Well, there's one place that still has lights on, but that's pretty rare. So for the most part, all they actually have is the lanterns lit. They're floating uh, candles and the little boxes out as offerings across the water, and it's pretty much just lanterns in the whole the whole city, or at least the whole area that we're walking in. Otherwise, it's mostly dark and just a whole bunch of tourists walking around and the locals paying their respects. It's safe to say there are a lot of people around. <laughs> becoming a little bit difficult to film there because everything was just so dark uh, but it was a good night the lantern festival was really interesting it was really busy as you would sort of expect but um, cool to see the whole the whole area just sort of lit up by the lanterns only at least it's supposed to be some of them were definitely not playing by the rules and I don't know if they get in trouble for that um, so we've just got back now uh, thank you for watching the video tomorrow or the next video that comes up is going to be a good one because we're moving into a villa and we want to be able to show you what that looks like and we're so excited it's really sick uh, cheap as well beautiful swimming pool on the lake I mean sorry on, on the river as well it's a really really sick spot so check back for that one uh, if you're new here it'd be awesome if you could subscribe for those of you that follow us along thanks again for the support and we'll catch you next time mm -hmm.